Hello everybody, welcome back to Apex Craft. This is Red Lore, and today we're gonna play with some Harkin Scythe stuff. Um, and you can see I've already got a scythe. I'll have to double check and make sure that I showed you guys how to make those last episode. Uh, but before we run and do that, real quick. <coughs> Close doors behind me. I need to learn. We need to make some more secret room mod stuff and fix these doors. Alright. Before we do Harkin Scythe mod stuff, I want to get something out of the way. Alright, I've got a linking book, I think, on my person. I do. I have a pick. I have some food. I really don't need all of this food. really don't need the scythe, but if we lose it, that's okay, too. Alright. We're going to go and hit the, uh, the end real quick and get my end stone that I need for making all the crazy stuff. Um, soul shards, yeah. Alright, so here we go. Whoa. It created us a new portal. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Okay. Right, and I suspect that will be enough. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so I got me some end stone. That should be enough to get me set for making some soul shards down the line. Where did I get iron and stone from? And redstone. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna drop this stuff into the ME system. I'll heal back up. <coughs> There's a couple things we need to make while we're in the basement as well. Alright, so... We're gonna need to make... Let's see if we've got any minium stones. I don't. Let's make two. And iron... And we'll make as many of these as we can. There we go, ten. Alright, two things that we're going to want to make. Uh, well, we're going to need two essence keepers, essentially. We'll get to that here in a bit. Alright, so, um, for the scythe, um, you can do any of the standard weapon combinations. Uh, iron, diamond, wood, stone and sticks. Right, we'll get you the scythe. And the other thing that we're going to want is a glaive. And we might as well go ahead and make an iron glaive as well. Alright, there we go. Now, what do we do with these, I hear you asking. Well, it's, it's night time again, so let's... Uh, I'm not sure even where my last save was, so let me... Boogie upstairs, since I'm the only person on the server. And do this. Alright. So, um, in order to... Well, there's a couple things, actually. Um, scythes, when used to harvest crops, uh, will sometimes double the amount of crops that are dropped. Um, scythes are also used, as you guys might have saw previously, 
for harvesting souls from mobs. Oh, chickens. Well, so you right click and hold like you're charging a bow, and bam, there's a soul. And it's an uh, area of effect, so lovely. Like so. I'm only hoping that this does not damage my uh, golem. Alright, so then we use our Essence Keeper and we right click on these guys to fill up our Essence Keeper with souls. Once this guy is full, we can go and do some cool things with it. Alright, he's full. Let me pick up all of the stuff and the things. Alright, so the same thing here with the glaive. Except, we get blood. And we want to collect this blood with our other essence keeper. And I'm not certain if these are... If this one also has an area of effect or not. So... I'm gonna guess that it doesn't, but boy, I could be wrong. It looks like it does not. don't have lots of blood in them. Go figure. And these will ev eventually fade uh, back into the terrain. The blood is obviously much more work. couple things that you can do with these keepers now that you've got blood and souls. There we go. Whoa! Alright. We'll have to feed the animals and uh and harvest some more blood and oh it does have an area of effect okay we we'll have to keep an eye out on that and make sure that we uh, that we create a special place just for harvesting so you can also right click or left click and just do a standard attack all right so let's uh, let's create ourselves a special little pin over here just for harvesting, I don't know, chicken souls and blood and stuff. Alright, I'm going to go get some... Go get some fence. And I'll be back here in a second. Um, let's see here, what else can I look at real quick? Right. Okay. So now that we have our blood and there we go, our souls, soul keeper, blood keeper. Right. So I can I can drink this stuff, and it will give me some good stuff and some bad stuff. And the same with the souls. All right. We'll wait for our strength to wear off here. There we go. Hunger and poison. That's no good. There are ways to counteract the bad stuff that happens and to increase your chances of getting a good buff. Alright, here's some 
So let me get some fences put together and get ourselves a temporary pen put together for our, uh, our chickens to do some blood and soul harvesting. Um, do, 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 let's see. I think a stack should be plenty. And yes, I need to get an Emmy remote system put together, but yeah. I don't think it's that difficult. I'm going to need more Ender Pearls. Um, with the uh, Hark and Scythe, we're going to need a lot of Ender Pearls. Uh, there's a couple of books that we're going to need to make. Three, as a matter of fact. One of them is going to be a bit more difficult, as you only, you're only able to find pages to create the book um, in chests out in the world. So... Um, do. Alright. Let's go get us a bunch of chicken eggs. And let's leave some chickens. There we go. Uh, some chickens to actually Oh, they're getting out. Stay in there, chickens. And baby animals have no souls. And you get very little blood out of them. So. We will wait for these guys to mature a bit. We'll go pick on the cows and the pigs. How do I want to do this? I have to sneak out of here now that I've put a bunch of chickens in here. Cows and pigs, okay. Need some of these and some of those. Alright, let's see the cows. And the pigs. There we go. We'll come in here and we'll pick on a cow. Alright, had a client crash, yay! And... Let's go pick on the pigs here for a minute. There we go. Wonder if I can lure the pig over here if uh Oh, I got two of them. I was 
trying to color, sh have a sheep of every color, but eh, I don't know if that's going to work out. Alright, so let's have this last pig that I can take. That was underwhelming. Well, very underwhelming. Okay, well, I got a little bit more blood to, to collect. Well, let's see uh, where I can go and make that happen. So the deal is the killing blow has to be with the glaive or with the scythe. So... Oh, here comes a creeper. And a skeleton. Thankfully he was a bad shot. I did see another creeper over here, I believe. Oh, he gives out green blood. I wonder if I can harvest this. I can't. Okay. Awesome. Come on now. Yay! Okay. And some more minium stones. Awesome. No, oh, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> Almost there. Seems to me that the, uh, that the slimes might just not be worth it. Oh, got too close. Skeleton and a spider. I'm not sure I want to tangle with the skeleton right now. Oh mercy. <laughs> run, Red Lord, run! Where did all my food go? It's all upstairs. I'm certain of it. All right. So let me let me get myself healed back up, and uh, and we'll finish up. Uh, I'll I'll finish up getting the my blood keeper filled also, and I'll be back and show you guys what we do with it after we get them filled. Food. Okay, what I've also discovered is that you don't have it doesn't have to be a killing blow with this, with the glaive. You can just charge attack like so. Uh now, <clears throat> do we have our blood keeper and our soul keeper filled? Let's uh let's dump some of this stuff oh, into our ME system and get our inventory nice and cleaned up. Alright, so one of the things that we can make is a um, there is an altar of souls and an altar of blood 
that we can manufacture, but first we have to manufacture a Book of Shadows and a Book of Carnage. So let's start with the Book of Shadows. I just so happen to have all of this stuff, so with the exception of the Soul Keeper. There we go. And it gives me back the empty essence, the Essence Keeper. All right, and the Book of Carnage is the same recipe, but with the blood. There we go. And I do not know if these can be read, so let's take a peek here real quick. No. They cannot. So let's start with the Book of Shadows and our Soul Altar. Altar of Souls. And then we're also going to do our Altar of Carnage. Altar of Blood. There we go. Now, the next bit that we need is a... Oh. There are two bits that we're going to need. A Soul Crucible and a Blood Crucible. Now, um, the way these work, let's, let's go ahead and get one... I don't have any more interpurls. All right. So the way these work is very similar to a, uh, a an enchantment altar, um, except that you have to create crucibles instead of bookcases, surround them with crucibles that have souls in them. Um, and let's get a couple more minium stones. and some iron. We'll start with two and our blood altar. Or our blood crucible and we'll also get a soul crucible. There we go. And let's see, where do I want to put these things? Who even knows? We'll start. Uh, we'll start here. Altar of blood and our altar of souls. So now, what I need to do is I need to go back out and I need to get more blood and more souls. So let me let me go do that, and we'll be back. We will wrap up this episode, it looks like, and um, have, have some more fun going forward with Harkenside. Okay, I murdered my pigs and my cows, and we'll worry about some of that stuff later. Alright, so... In my Blood Keeper, what I'll do is right-click on the Crucible and fill it up. And the same with the Soul Keeper on the uh, Soul Crucible. And now what I can do... <coughs> I have some wool. And I think I have some sand. Um, all sorts of cool things can be done now. So if I come here to the Soul Altar and I put in my Scythe, right, I can enchant, I can augment my Scythe with however many souls I have. In this case, it would be 50. Um, let's see here, I can do the same on the Glaive, um, and similarly on the with the Blood Altar, right? So what I'm likely to get on the Glaive from the Blood Altar is a Bloodletting Enchant. Um, which would increase the amount of blood that is spilt. Um, similarly, with the scythe in the soul altar, you would get uh, soul reaping, I believe, um, which would increase the number or the amount of soul that is released from whatever it is you kill. All right. So, in addition, we can entwine wool with souls, and we get soul wool, or soul cloth. I can't remember, I don't have a lot of stuff here, so you guys will have to uh, 
let's see here entwine mm hmm well it doesn't seem to like that very much now does it how many souls do I have in there I wonder probably not enough and similar over here I bet I don't have enough or all right, so let's see if this will happen. Something else that is kind of in fun and interesting when you break these. Ah! That is an ectoplasm. And if you just right-click on him with your soul keepers, it will fill them back up. And we get our crucible back. And we'll do the same thing with our... blood crucible. Uh, but we're going to get a hemoglobin. Oh. And we can get all those back as well. Alright, so these have 40 blood and 20 souls. Okay. And I'm wondering if these need to be farther away, perhaps. There we go. There we go. Alright, so let's try this again. And twine. There we go. So we got soul weave cloth. Um, and I believe similarly we can do this over here. And we get blood weave cloth. Um, and in addition, we can also do similar things with metal. We imbue the metal and we get living metal. Uh, living metal will all automatically repair uh, whatever you make the tool out of. It will automatically repair as long as you have souls in a soul keeper or in an essence keeper. And I believe we can do. No, you cannot do this with uh, blood. So we'll uh, let's wrap the episode up. It's getting kind of lengthy, and we'll come back and maybe between episodes I'll build us some more. I gotta. <laughs> you know what? The other thing I need to do is I need to get an ender pouch and um. Oh, I just have enough. An ender pouch and an ender chest. Oh, let's see here. Some iron. You tell me I don't have any obsidian. Oh no, I do have obsidian. I don't have wool. I got wool. Come on now. red. Hmm. Hmm. Where did all of that stuff end up? Where did all my dyes go? Well... Alright, so what we're going to do to wrap the episode up is I'm going to replace this chest right here uh, with my ender chest, like so. And we'll do black, white, black. And we'll sink this ender pouch. 
with it. Shift click. There we go. All right. And what that will let me do is when I'm out and about and I've got my inventory or my hands full, as long as I've got my ender pouch on me, I can toss stuff back into the ME system. Awesome. Alright guys, uh, it has been nice having you along. I'm hoping everybody enjoyed uh, what we did today with Hark and Scythe and look forward to doing some more of it. I gotta go out and uh, harvest more souls and more blood and we can work on some enchants. Um, I think my next glaive and uh, scythe will be diamond. And we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll see what I can do as far as getting enchants on them. Uh, just to increase. And who knows where we'll go from there. So until then, guys, or rather until next time, guys, stay out of trouble and have fun. It's been nice to have you along. Now what was I doing?